All right. Beth asks, question. When someone asks for space, do they ever come back? Like, why come towards me and completely retract and ignore? When someone asks for space, do they ever come back? Great question, Beth. So do they ever come back? The answer is sure. I mean, sometimes they do. Most of the time when someone wants space, it's because they don't even know what they want in relationship. And when someone doesn't know what they want in relationship, all the space in the world isn't going to change that. Ladies, I highly recommend purchasing this book, Eight Dates by Dr. John and Julie Gottman. Eight, Eight Dates by Dr. John and Julie Gottman. This is the mechanics to a healthy, happy relationship. So, ladies, if you follow my, my work, you know, before the penis goes into the vagina, you better be reading this book and you better be asking him the questions associated in this book. And furthermore, I highly recommend buying two copies if there's someone you're seeing and have him read the book at the same time to find out if you're on the same page. Let me tell you the worst thing that can happen. You spend one, two, three months just having a good time. We're going to have a good time. It's all about having a good time. I'm just going to sit back in my feminine energy and let the guy do all the work and we're going to have a good time only to have it implode when he says, I'm not ready for a relationship because I have chaos going on in my life. My work is busy, you know, um, you know, and then you start seeing other patterns because he hasn't healed his childhood wounds and traumas. And it's just going to bleed into it after the honeymoon period. And these days, the honeymoon period is between six and 12 weeks, six to 12 weeks. And I'm not saying relationships can't have multiple, multiple years of fun and a blast. But these days, because most people are, are dating on a casual basis, they're in situationships. Why do you want to invest your energy with someone who doesn't know what he wants? When someone wants space is because it's not you. By the way, this whole narrative, it's not you, it's me. It is them. They're fucked up, okay? Now, we sometimes it might be that you're just not the one. In fact, this is the tricky part because men, are, men and women are searching for some nirvana, this twin flame energy that's all of a sudden going to change everything about how fucked up they are. And they're going to all of a sudden become magically emotionally healthy because they've done no fucking personal development work. Yeah, right. This is this, this narrative. That, so when someone says they're going to take space, what are they going to fucking do during the space? Are they going to go see a therapist? Are they going to see a counselor? Are they going to go to a coach and work on their shit? Or are they just taking space because they don't know what the fuck they're doing? That's the way I've observed it. And by the way, ladies, I have over 20,000 hours of coaching in the last 12 to 13 years. I have over 3,000 hours of personal development work training, seminars, counseling, books, and videos that I've read. I have a neuro-linguistic programming certificate, and I'm currently getting my cognitive behavioral therapist certificate. I share this with you not to impress you. I share this with you is because I study this stuff day in, day out. I am a fucking junkie. I am a junkie for love. I'm a junkie for personal development. I'm a junkie for, I'm, I'm absolutely fascinated with human behavior. Why do people do what they do? It's just, I, I am kind of one dimensional this way, but it's just who I am. And I only share this with you is because I've done a lot of the work so you don't have to spend 20,000 hours. I've condensed it like I've done in my six week boot cramp, boot, boot cramp, boot camp. <laughs> and so if you want some help again, check out the link to a discovery call. Great question. Um, thank you so much, Beth. All right, looks like uh, Robin wrote, 